What's up, TikTok? Here we are in the garage of Bart yet again. This is what we do. Uh, got uh, got the master cylinder put on the Camaro yesterday, but unfortunately, uh, it's gonna have to have a slave cylinder. So we're on to something new today. Going on a trip next weekend on the Sportster. Uh, I built those new bars, and I don't really care much for them. I mean, they're okay, but they're. Uh, not what I was looking for. So today project is build new bars. Uh, out of gas for the, the TIG, no art on, which is typical, nothing open on the weekend. So we're gonna flux core this mess. Uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna build a set of risers uh, that use two piece bars, kind of like the uh, the old Harley ones. Uh, I'm gonna do a big no-no. I'm gonna use a piece of one inch pipe for the top part because I don't have any inch and a quarter dom. Uh, this will work just fine. One inch uh, fits in the middle, hits schedule for it. It's pretty thick. We'll clean it up. You never know the difference. Don't tell nobody. Uh, so first things first, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the threads cut off the end of this and then we're going to slit it. I already got the bandsaw squared up and all that. Probably help if I plug it in a little So I've already got it chucked up tight. We're gonna cut this, cut these threads off this pipe. I'll get them ends cut off there, and then we'll make a cut down the center of it for the clamping part of it. Uh, I got one end cut off there. Uh, I'm going to measure it up here in the bandsaw. Uh, I'm going to cut this to uh, five inches because, you know, the bars, they're, they're three and a half inches on the center, so four and a half to outside, but we'll add an extra half inch, so we've got a quarter inch on each side of the risers. Okay, it's cut off five inch piece. This will be the crossbar top part of the riser. Now, what I've got to do is I've got to cut I've been using angle grinder, and I've got to make a cut down the center of this so that I can so that I can put some tabs on or some ears on it to where it'll clamp. Uh, so to get a good straight line, I'm just going to use a piece of angle and just lay it on top of it, and then we're going to take a sharpie and just go right across that edge, good, and that'll give me a good straight cut line. Now, I'm going to cut that and I'm going to make some ears. See so, yeah, what we've done here? See, we I cut that in there so that I can put tabs on here with bolts going down. And then that will allow it to clamp down on the tubing. And again, this is one inch pipe. Like iron, black iron pipe. But as you can see, this is one inch tubing, which is thin wall. That's not what I'm going to be using for the bars. But that's a pretty good tight fit in there. So I can slide my bars in from the top and tighten those down and that'll clamp it in. And like I said, that's how the old uh, Harley risers, that's how they were. And I like that because uh, I can build different bars and use the same risers like you would do. But in this case, uh, what I'm likely going to do is I'm going to build a super short set of Z-bars. So these risers, I'm probably going to do 10 inches, but I'm going to make 4-inch Z-bars that are going to go into these. So essentially what that's going to be is a set of 14-inch bars, which is a little bigger than I like, but the cables that are on the bike were four 14-inch bars. So I pretty much have to stick to that, but that's all right. So I'm going to uh, get some tabs cut out, and then I'll show you how I get them put on. And we're going to do a really sloppy job of flux core welding this stuff up and then we're going to grind it back off you know how professional welders do uh maybe i should wait until in the week and do it with the tig when i can get some gas but you know what i sleep all day during the week because night shift okay getting ready to cut these tabs or whatever you want to call them out now this is five inches across uh i kind of like the look of the the tabs not going all the way out to the very end. I kind of like to pull them in just a little bit. So this is five inches. I want to leave about an inch on either side. So 
We'll cut these three inches, my handy dandy slip square. We'll dial that up to three inches. And then we'll make us a mark to cut this. Three inches. So I'm gonna cut that and we'll do it one more time. So there we are. We've got our two pieces of steel. Uh, now I've got to, uh, I've got to mark these and drill a couple of holes uh, for my bolts to go through. And then I'll drill big holes on the top and then on the bottom one, I'll drill them a little smaller and I'm gonna tap some quarter 20 threads into this. Handy dandy center punch. Automatic one, gotta have it. This cheap one, arbitrary. What that does is makes these little bitty, if it'll zoom, it's not going to zoom. You can see those little dots. That gives you a place to get your drill bit started. 